no matter what level you are, you have to implement this swing thought. In today's video, I'm gonna show you one crucial focal point that you should have when you're hitting a driver so that you can hit the ball straighter further and get your angle of attack upwards. You do not wanna miss this video. Now, by this point, I'm sure you're wondering what this swing thought is. Well, we are gonna be putting our attention onto the left shoulder. I see so many golfers get the left shoulder wrong in the downswing and into impact. Now, we are more specifically focusing on impact. So what are we trying to see with this left shoulder? Well, in short term, we wanna be seeing this left shoulder back up and out of the shot. What are we trying to see in terms of how this left shoulder should move in the downswing? Well, to map this out, I always like to just place a club on my shoulder. So I'm gonna grab my driver and just pop it on my shoulders. Now, obviously at address, we're gonna have a little bit of tilt. So you can see my lead shoulder is slightly higher than my trail shoulder. As a result, the club is angled upwards. Now, as I turn back, we're obviously gonna see some angle to the shaft. The left shoulders work down and around. So what happens in the downswing? Well, the first thing that happens is the left shoulder will work down and forwards. That's crucial. Now, once we get to around this position here, then the left shoulder is going to go over time and start to work up and out of the shot. So what happens if you get to that good position, but then you don't work up and out of the shot? Well, essentially, you're just going to keep going down, 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 and you're going to hit overly down on the golf ball. So it's crucial to get that left shoulder working up and out. You can see it gets my chest turning, my pelvis turning, and ultimately from there, the whole left side of my body is connected. If I get that left shoulder moving up, I'm going to want to press out of the ground more. I'm going to get far more clubber speed, far more rotation. Ultimately, it's going to put me in a way better position. So if I turn from to this angle, where I'm hitting the golf ball towards you. As I start to back this left shoulder up and out of the shot, you can see how this wants to get my left leg pushing up, my then left hip wants to clear, my rib cage, my chest wants to clear, and ultimately from there, not only is that gonna help me hit up on it, it's also gonna help me turn through the shot. I'm able to keep my width a lot more. And again, from this position, my release then becomes way easier. This is why not only is it gonna help you hit the ball further, it's gonna increase your club speed, your angle of attack, that's the further part but it's also going to help you control your club face better because it's going to give you that space to fully release the club and if there's anything you'll always hear good players say is when they are playing their best golf it feels like they've got loads of time loads of space why because they do they've created that rotation they've got their arms in front of them and ultimately they can release the club freely with it being sort of second nature and this is what we're trying to achieve with this now i see so many golfers move this lead shoulder incorrectly what i'll see from the top of the backswing is that their lead shoulder will work up straight away that'll get the club way too far under or the other one is I see the lead shoulder just tear open straight away. Both of those are going to kill your golf game. It's not going to help you. It's going to make you play far worse golf. And ultimately, they're not successful things to do. So the feeling for you is as you get to this position, I really want you to feel like you pull that left shoulder back and up as hard as you can. You're going to feel like you can really ramp your club speed up, more rotation of the chest, the rib cage, the pelvis, everything is going to help you massively. So let me give you an example of this. Then let's run into some drills. So I'm going to really feel like as I come into impact, left shoulder works down and then bang is going to work up and out of the shot. Let's see if I can really crank this, get a little bit more speed out of it. Ultimately then get a little bit more distance. So it's all well and good you knowing this information, but I need to give you the correct sensations. Now, obviously, because this is YouTube, I can't physically put you in the right position. So these two drills that can be done with just the alignment stick are gonna work absolute wonders for you. The first one, like I did earlier, was alignment stick across the shoulders. Now, I really want you to feel like as you're coming into impact, you can get this end of the alignment stick pointing up and behind you as fast as possible and do some of those rehearsal swings where you really feel like you're getting to here, left shoulders work down, you can give yourself a pause and then bang, getting it out of the way super quick. Now the other thing we can do just to check we're working in the right pattern is that this alignment stick here, this end should be pointing just outside the golf ball, about a foot or so outside the golf ball. If you see yourself go this way, you know you haven't done it right. You wanna be making sure left shoulder's working up and out, and you can see I've still got a great incline to the shoulders. So that's gonna be the first drill that is gonna massively help you. Just grab an alignment stick, pop it on your shoulders. Now the second one is actually my favorite one. Now, depending on the kind of alignment stick you have, this one's actually pretty weak in terms of the flex. Some alignment sticks are a little bit stiffer. Is it the stiffer the alignment stick, the more you're gonna feel this. So. What you're gonna do is actually grip this like a driver right at the end of the alignment stick. Just make sure there's no splinters or anything in it. Then from there, bring it so it's in line with your big toe on your trail foot. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
drag this through as close as you can to your trail foot. And as you can see, this is stressed right here. So as a result, it's forcing my left shoulder up and out of the shot right there. Now, as you come through, you wanna feel like you're getting this into a nice high follow through position. Couple of things you can see here. My pelvis has tucked under, my chest is extended towards the sky. Again, super, super powerful move. A large part of this is dictated though by that left shoulder working up and out of the shot, giving me some great rotation. So let me do that a couple of times. Outside of the trail foot, I'm gonna drag it by and up. Once you've done that a couple of times, then take that same sensation. And now it's time to grab the driver back in our hands. So now we've got the driver back in my hand. Now I wanna take you through a little bit of a routine that you can do when you're out on a golf course to actually implement this. So the very first thing you're gonna do is stand behind your golf ball. As you do that, you're just gonna grab the club, pop it on your shoulders, and you're just gonna do a couple of mini swings just to where you can get that sensation of that left shoulder working up and out of the shot. And again, you're trying to get that end of the grip pointing up and behind you as fast as possible. Now, once you've done that a couple times, again, I always like to start slow with my rehearsal swings. So just do one rehearsal swing where I'm feeling that left shoulder get out, just sort of a half swing, and then do a second one. That's a fuller swing. Again, I'm feeling that left shoulder work up and back. So in reality, this shouldn't take you more than five to 10 seconds. You could do this with other people hitting their shot. You could just do it when you're waiting. Now, once you've done that a couple times, then from there, it's time to have a go. So what we're gonna do is set up to the ball. We're gonna feel like we're getting that left shoulder up and out of the shot. You'll also see as I do this, this is allowing me to stay in some good right bend, helping me hit up on the ball a lot more. So let's give this a go and let's see if we can get that angle of attack up one more time so we can hit nice long straight drives. Really got a nice high flight on that one. Again, exactly what we're trying to see right here. I can feel the whole left side of my body extending as we go through there. Now, as much as that is an amazing swing thought with driver, it also works for every other club. So I have a, an eight iron right here. Now, again, if I turn to this angle to where I'm hitting towards you, if I was to get that left shoulder working down and then up and out through impact, you can see how that's gonna promote a massive amount of chest rotation and hip rotation. What's one of the most common issues that we see? We see people do this, they stay down. Well, that left shoulder hasn't cleared at all in that position. If you can get that left shoulder working up and out, you're gonna find you get a lot more extension of the body, a lot more rotation, and ultimately it's gonna help you with these as well. So let me show you this with an eight iron. Again, I'm trying to feel that left shoulder work down and then up and out of the shot behind me. That is gonna be an amazing swing thought for all clubs, not just your driver. So who knows, this could be your new hidden swing thought to take your game to the next level this year. Let me give it a go with this eight iron. So as you can see, that swing thought applies to all your clubs. Now, here's the thing. Yes, it's going to help you hit the ball straighter. It's going to help you hit the ball further. But the reason because of this is the chain reaction it sets off. Remember that throughout this whole video, it's the chain reaction. The left shoulder working up and out is only part of this. As it works up and out, it's then the chest is going to turn. You're going to move into some good right bend. Your pelvis is going to turn. You're going to be using some good ground forces because you're going to be pushing out of the ground with the lead leg. So ultimately, by thinking of this one swing, thought in terms of the shoulder we are going to see a huge amount of positive chain reactions taking place so use this swing thought let me know how it goes if you have any questions about this please drop it in the comments down below if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a like and subscribe and i hope to see you back here soon